Crystal Lucas, welcome back to the Chan Chan. That was hot. This is the 72nd annual Lucas Buys Famous People's Words on Book Cameo. Welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe. As you may be able to tell, in the first part of this video, I did experiment with foundation. I applied foundation to my face to cover my acne. It doesn't quite match my neck, as you can see. Let's, let's just ignore it. It is what it is. I'm not Jeffree Star, but I tried. Enjoy the rest of the video. Today I'm feeling a little bit charitable. I kind of feel like I want to give back. In the past, I always bought these cameo videos for myself. It was what I wanted these celebrities to say. It was all for me. But in this video, I'm opening it up to you guys. I'm buying cameos that you guys want. This is for you. It's also for me because I'm excited to watch them as well. It's still for me, so shut the f*** up. So I have a little handy dandy email, lucascameo123 at gmail.com. If you don't know, I have a podcast with my little brother where we ramble every week about nothing. Thing. Some people listen to it. I gave those lucky podcast listeners the first chance at requesting cameos. But for the future, email that email whenever you want me to buy a cameo from a specific person that you want to say a specific thing. Make them juicy. Make them weird. Make them accidentally sexual. I'm such a good person for buying cameos for you. So first off, my little brother actually had a request. He wants a cameo from Joanna Cedia. Cedia. Kedia. She is a YouTube star. She blew the f up and from looking at her channel it seems like her content mostly focuses around John Cena so I'm on board also she does a weird thing with her hair I want to do that I'm gonna grow my hair down to my ass just so I can do that she's $15 let's do this what does Jacob want Joanna Cedia to say she's booked hell yes Next up, Emily B. She said, hi, Lucas. I looked at Cameo and saw it only cost $15 to get bullied by Elijah Daniel. I thought it would be funny if you sent a request pretending to be someone that was buying a Cameo from him for your boyfriend or girlfriend to tell them that you're breaking up with them. I'm down. I literally have no idea why I'm doing this, but you're gonna get bullied. I'm excited. I love getting bullied. Basically, this is for my boyfriend who cheated on me a year ago. We're still together. I'm still not over it. So please rip him a new asshole. Tell him he's ugly. I'm so excited for my fictional boyfriend to get bullied. Fuck yeah. Jackson says, do Nev from Catfish and tell him to show his chest hair. Why not? From briefly watching Catfish, like you do notice Nev is quite hairy. So maybe he's down to show that hair on Book Cameo. I'm really glad Catfish wasn't around when I was 10 years old because I spent a lot of time back then in chat rooms pretending to be people who definitely weren't me. It was wrong and I apologize to anyone who was affected. But I'm really happy no one put me on Catfish. And, like they got to my parents' house and I was just like a 10 year old like, sorry, don't come for me. Hey, love the show. I just wanna see chest hair. LOL. <laughs> Thanks in advance. He's $125. It's worth it for chest hair. Abby Lee Miller. If you don't know who Abby Miller is, she was the queen bee on Dance Moms. How can you remember that and you can't remember to turn your feet out? Huh? That's pathetic. Basically, it's her running a dance studio, yelling at a bunch of eight-year-olds. It's really entertaining and wrong at the same time. I'm sure they'll all have to go through therapy intensively, but I did watch every episode. Am I proud of it? Yes. They want her to say, you will never be the top dancer just sitting on your ass. Get up. It's just basically a lot of yelling. She is a bit expensive, sorry. How expensive is she, boo? Money doesn't grow on trees. But I will take out a loan for Abby Lee Miller. Please tell Carl he will never make it as a dancer sitting on his flat ass. Like not just his ass, but his flat ass. Please end the video with a peace sign. Perfect. Abby Lee Miller, we're now friends. She's gonna talk to me. So Missiel, Missiel, Mitchell said, can you try to book Steven Kramer Glickman? Which if you aren't aware, he was like the manager in Big Time Rush. 
It's like I'm falling in love again for the first time. They want him to say, I know you've been dealing with problems in the bedroom and you can't get an erection anymore, but I have a way to fix that. Okay, I'm down. If this involves a lot of erection talk, but let's see if he'll say it. He's booked, bitch. Last but not least, Lachlan, 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 wants me to book Annalise Vanderpool. She was the friend on That's So Raven. Apparently on Cameo, she sings, does impressions. Apparently she talks for like two minutes. Like it just keeps going on and on. I love those cameos. We were like, oh my God, this is like a vlog. Are you just gonna take me along for your whole day? This has now been 45 minutes. So into those. Wasn't she also in the Bratz movie? Hell yes. Please sing Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. Also, can you give me advice? Because I have a friend who I don't like, but I still kind of want to be friends with because she's rich, <laughs> lol. Thanks, love you. F yeah! Well, now all we have to do is wait a week for them to do these cameos. I have to wait a whole week to see Nev's chest hair. Whatever, I can wait. I'm gonna try to practice patience. <laughs> It's been a week, ho. A lot has happened in this one week. My parents got divorced, they didn't. Why did I even say that? What the fuck? So the cameos are ready, at least most of them. Elijah Daniel didn't respond to my cameo. I'm pissed, I'm upset, I'm shook it. Didn't he invent the word shook it? I really wanted to get insulted by him. We're feuding. <laughs> Let's jump right into these, hun. First up, we have Nev Shulman. And um, I said this one was for someone named Jelly. What does he have to say to Jelly? I'm excited. Like I hope he's full on naked when cameo just turns into a porn website. <laughs> What? What's up, Jelly? I have been reborn. I am now a new person. What? <laughs> I am joining a new religion. Well, to who sent me that request, I hope you're happy. It's fully out. I'll save that for later. Just kidding. <laughs> Next we have Steven Kramer Glickman. He's big time Rush royalty. This is for Tom. It's a bunch of fake names, all my different personalities coming out today to play. This was like sort of a sexual, something to do with erections. Um, let's watch. Hey, what's going on? Uh, Tom, how are you? Dan, he reached out and let me know about your problem that you're having in the bedroom and how you just can't perform sexually anymore. Uh, I know this is a very difficult subject, Tom. I just want to let you know if you're really having trouble getting motivated, think about me. Slapping that ass and rocking the boots. You'll be cured in no time, Tom, with your horrible, horrible penis. Did the guy from Big Time Rush just talk about my dick and say it was horrible? He went above and beyond. He did it good. He talked about slapping my ass. Think about me slapping that ass. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. Slapping that ass. Five out of five, would recommend to a friend. Next up, we have That's So Raven royalty. Annalise Vanderpool. That's a great name. Four words. I want my last name to be split into three words. Some of them aren't even capitalized. Like, that is a power move, son. Power move. Yeah! but I still kind of want to be friends with because she's rich. That's hilarious, Shy. Time and life is precious. Your time is valuable. So you really have to think, how do I want to spend my time? Is this friend worth it? You know, sometimes materialistic things we think can make us happy, but happiness cannot be bought. You know, it's ingrained, it's innate, it's in you. It's not something you can purchase, right? It's so true. Don't feel guilty about that, I get it. Everybody loves a private jet. How rich is your friend? And also, can I be friends with them? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go on, on to set for two seconds. How about that? Holy shit! This is like a full on vlog! It's been like five minutes. This is the door to set. I'm gonna go on set. Yeah! Oh, Gabby! Is it a birthday? 
This is a full length movie. Good luck, good luck with the friend or non friend. Remember, you do you. Also, you'd be doing that person a favor too, you know? Right? Let them be friends with people, uh, you know, who want to be their friends. All right, Che. Kisses! <sighs> that was so good and long, and I loved it. I really loved it. The only bad thing was she said that people can't buy your happiness, which we all know isn't true. <laughs> the happiness cannot be bought. You know, it's ingrained. It's innate. It's in you. It's not something you can purchase. Buy me a private jet and I'll be real happy. Coming up next is Joanna Senia. This was for my little brother, Jacob. I'm pretty sure he wanted her to say something about hamsters. A hamster farm, skinning hamsters and making like a vest, something in that territory. Let's jump in. I'm going to be honest, when I read the description for this cameo, I was shocked. Did I read that correctly? 156 hamsters? I bet all those hamsters are so happy under your care. Where do you even keep them? Do you just have a farm? Like, your basement? Is it just one big hamster party? You know, like, do your parents not even bother to look in there? That's a lot of hamsters. Anyways, I just want to congratulate you because that's a feat of uh, human strength let me just say that I know that in two years you'll have a thousand hamsters you know anyways love you the most okay uh, keep at it and uh, see you later love you the most hamsters thanks Jacob for that one you Jacob love it thank you so much Joanna <laughs> last but not least Ho is Abby Lee Miller. Welcome Abby Lee Miller to the building, hun. She yells at kids. Get off your butt, walk over to Ross, and buy a ball. That's your fault. She turns kids into stars. She tells them, you suck, do better. And it makes them famous. I've always dreamed of this. Like you watch Dance Moms and you're like, I wish I too could be just yelled at. Screamed, hit with words, you know? Hello, Carl. Abby Lee Miller here. What is wrong with you? All you do is sit around on that flat ass of yours. <gasps> lazy, lazy, lazy. You are never going to be great unless you commit. You have to commit to it. You want to be on top of the pyramid? Then give me 110% every day, every minute. Understand? All right, good. I never thought I would live to the day when Abby Lee Miller told me I had a flat ass. All you do is sit around on that flat ass of yours. <laughs> Any day where I need a little motivation kick, I'm gonna listen to that. Get up off your flat lazy ass. Wow, cameo where dreams are made a reality. That was a success if I've ever seen one. We gotta see catfish hosts just grasp chest, like just a lawn of hair. We saw that, we experienced it, it was just for us. It was beautiful. The guy from Big Time Rush talked about our dick. There's a hamster moment. The girl from Not So Raven gave us a full length movie. Like, wow. Don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell so you never miss another video like this. Email lucascameo123 at gmail for your request. Make it specific, tell me who, what you want them to say. Make it weird, make it fun. Up. Make it so when we all watch the cameo together, we might need therapy. That's the goal. Bye, bitch.